I mitten av juli 2021 så började det brinna i det här området och det syns och det känns för det luktar fortfarande och den branden nådde i början av augusti den gamla staden Greenville. California's Dixie fire exploding again overnight. It was just like a huge tornado burnt that town down in about 25 minutes. Skogsbranden som drabbade Greenville fick namnet Dixie och är en av de värsta bränderna i Kaliforniens historia. We lost Greenville tonight. Och det är ett faktum att varmare och torrare klimat gör att bränderna här blir större och större. Bara sedan början av 1970-talet har delstatens sommartemperaturer ökat med 1,4 grader, vilket ger längre och allvarligare brandsäsonger. But we can't ignore the reality that these wildfires are being supercharged by climate change. Greenville har precis börjat låta folk få återvända och jag har tagit mig hit för att höra hur de som förlorat precis allt tänker kring att starta om på en plats som bara blir farligare och farligare. I byggarbetare eller folk som river på plats men så har vi hittat den här mannen också. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine, thanks. My name is Peter. Peter David. Nice to meet you, David. What brings you here? Well, this is my hometown, uh, where I was raised here, so... What's it like coming here when it's like this? I just don't have words, so I don't know even if this town's gonna rebuild or back out in the back flats back in there. A lot of those people never had insurance. Well, let's look at the scope of this. I mean, how long it's going to take, if, if it's ever going to come back. So... When you look at this, what is it that you see? Change. It's... Our climate's changing, and I just... I just believe that, you know, there's time for changes, and I... That's the way I look at it. It's... I mean, everything has to change eventually. But, I mean, God, the amount of... What it took, you know? I mean, this is what it would look like, you know, in stretches of London and in uh, places like that. So it's. You're talking about the World War II. Yeah. 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 Branden som total förstörde Greenville tog in ofattbart snabbt och ansvarig för all evakuering var sheriffen Todd Jones. Morning. Morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm Peter. Todd. Nice to meet you, Todd. You too. So this is used to be my hometown. Used to be. Used to be. Still is. It's still here. Just looks a lot different than it did a month ago. What's it like for you standing here? It's difficult to... I mean, I live in this town. I've lived here my most of my whole life. And uh, so to drive through here every day is difficult. What was it like when it got from up there down here from the top of that hill down to here probably in less than 15 or 20 minutes and this fire when it burned through here went all the way around us and went all the way around the valley and then burned most of the valley and i already had the town under a mandatory evacuation so we were going around just to make sure there was nobody left um, which we ended up still evacuating quite a few people that had stayed We kind of started right here on Main Street, and we collectively got into a group and then realized, okay, we, that's, we're not far enough away from the fire. It's not going to stop over here. So we ended up way out of town because the fire just kept moving. <laughs> What words can you use? It's tragic. The, I mean, the whole thing's tragic. Where, where are all uh, the people staying? So it just depends. Some people have insurance and their insurance companies have um, paid them to go stay in a hotel or to rent another house. Some people have bought uh, fifth wheel trailers and put them on lots. People that are still in tents next to the creek. So yeah, they're all over. People are all over. Will Green will come back and will 
Green will survive. It's an old town. The community will never be the same because there's going to be folks that were here that will not come back. There will be kids that should be going to school here that will not come back. Um, so yeah, that's t the tough part of it. The, the community will come back, but it'll be different. So. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Hundratals människor blev hemlösa i och med branden. Och jag undrar, hur orkar du ens tänka tanken att börja om på nytt här? Thank you.